Yes, Premiere Pro is not perfect, it has some lagging. Suppose if you want to export several clips from your timeline using your favorite codec. Suppose if you want to export some clips from the timeline in H.264 MP4 format, how you can do that? You don't have any option. But don't worry, I have found a hack that you can follow to export several clips together from your timeline using MP4 or whatever preset you want to use. So let's see how you can do that. Hey guys, this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So here in Adobe Premiere Pro, I have imported a clip. If I just play it back, it is a simple B-roll of drone clips that I am going to use for that purpose. If you have a clip just like this one, you can use that and you can use scene edit detection to extract the clip or if you want, you can use any kind of video project for that purpose. But make sure when you are using this method, the audio and video is stitched together. If you seeing the audio later, then it will not work your video and audio will export individually so make sure when you are using this method the video and the audio is stitched together right so here are the video clips first let's trim that video into several section i'm just using scene edit detection right click here and then if you go here then you'll see scene edit detection just click here then it will ask for some option right so i'm just selecting this two which is apply a cut at each detected cut point and create bin of subclips from each detected cut point right so if i just click analyze it will cut the clip into different section and it will organize the clips here on this folder right so i don't want to export all the clips suppose i want to use these clips these clips and these clips so the method is select the clip and then select the clip that you want to export right so i'm selecting this one then if i press shift on my keyboard then i can select another one maybe this one and this one these four clips right so the simple method is right click here and then you will see which is render and replace you will see several options select in this visual clips from the source section and from the format you have to select any of this section maybe you are not seeing H.264 or this preset because I have exported a preset, export preset, and then I have imported that preset. So you have to first export a preset that you are going to use to export the clips. So if I go here and then I can just make a preset. Suppose I'm just tweaking some settings. Maybe I'm going here and I'm just selecting my preset. Maybe this one. I'm just selecting render at maximum depth use maximum render quality and then i'm saving this preset and naming it youtube then if i click here it will save the preset that is my export preset if you click here then you'll see here is the preset right but you have to export that preset in order to input it on our render and replace settings so click here on this three dot and then you will see more preset and from here just search for your preset i'm just going here on the custom preset section and here this is my preset if you select here you'll see here is the option called export option if you click here you can export that settings just export that settings i'm just exporting it on my desktop and then click save and then okay so it has exported my export preset now let's go here and export this individual clip suppose i'm selecting this one and then this one maybe this one this one right and then if i right click here then i have to go here on this section render and replace click here and from here click import preset and then go where you have saved the preset i have saved it on desktop then here is the youtube preset click open so here you will see the preset is appearing magically right so you can use s.264 and youtube preset to export the clips so select the folder i'm selecting destination just browse then i'm just making a folder here on desktop suppose clips then if i click create it will make a folder select folder and now if i click ok it will export the clips using my preset which is mp4 right so let's wait for a while and see if that is happening if i go here on my desktop i can go to desktop and here on this clips folder you can see the clips have been 
exported and the extension is mp4 so now you know how you can export several clips from your timeline using your preset which is mp4 right so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one and then goodbye